Paddy Nyang suffers from breast cancer. She's in so much pain that she can't lay down or stand up. She can barely sleep, eat or talk. At the age of 35, cancer is taking her life away. Please don't have pity on me. I'm fighting with all that I have. I'm fighting with my heart. Treatment is expensive in Senegal. Most breast cancer patients here die alone, at home, with no care. Next to the city morgue is the only cancer institute in the country. Those who make it here are two steps away from death, like 22 years old Fama Sara. Women here try to hide their breast cancer. Only when the flesh begins to rot and smell, when it becomes unbearable, then they see us. Eight cancer specialists for thousands of patients. Doctors are overwhelmed. These patients suffer from advanced stages of cancer and some of them are experiencing enormous amount of pain. They've been queuing up here since four o'clock in the morning to get access to the only radiotherapy machine there is in this West African region. Purchased 24 years ago, this cobalt therapy machine is no longer used in the West. The Institute receives little financial help. It relies on a yearly $50,000 government grant to keep it running. If there is a political will, we just have a limited budget. All diseases and illnesses are a government priority. Government quotas limits the import of morphine to just a kilo a year enough to meet the needs of only 200 patients. When you have medications that can easily relieve this pain, it calls into question whether they've met their obligation under the torture conventions. In the confines of her room, Kadi Nyang finds distraction from the pain. Before she had breast cancer, she was a popular hairdresser. It was a life she spent caring for others, and others cared for her, something that is slipping away now. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.